Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today, we're gonna to have a quick look at Kirk Hunter Studios Kinetic Strings, which is, as you can see, a string motion engine. So it focuses on rhythms, ostinatos, arpeggios, stuff like that. So before we get started checking this one out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with freebies, deals, videos, and giveaways just like this. All right, so I'm going to start off with a demo of the kinetic strings. As you can see, I have five different instances here. To flesh it out, I added some brass and percussion, but we'll also kind of isolate the string sections later on. Um, so they are different rhythms. Some of them are presets, as you can see here. This preset is called Captain America. And that little edited underneath it means that I have edited the preset a bit. This one is called In America. This one is called Cello's Rule. And this one is called Marcher. So for this one, I've actually, the only thing I've really done with this one is adjust this knob here so that it makes the notes a little bit longer and a little bit looser, as you can see right there. So let's check this out. Also make note of the tempo changes here. We start at 120, we go down to 102, and there are various ramping uh, down I ramp down the tempo there and ramp it up here and up there. And you can hear how the library seamlessly goes along with those tempo changes as I'm playing the pattern. It's pretty cool. So let's check it out. Alright, so you hear some really action-packed, very fast, fluid motion there, as well as some little slower stuff there, a little looser uh, with one of those instruments. So let's go in and look at the actual plugin itself, at the library, excuse me. So here we have Kinetic Motion Strings. I'm going to duplicate this just so we have a brand new instance to go from. And so, as you can see, we have the four different instruments of the string section here, violins, violas, cellos, and basses. You are able to edit the pattern here, just like this. You'll notice the violas are going uh, consistently 32nd notes there. And then up here, I have edited it, so I can turn these off as well. Now it's just the violins. As 
So as you can see, it goes through that uh, pattern there, which you can edit and adjust however you see fit. You can hit this and it will just turn off and on all of the patterns there. And you can change between marcato note, pizzicato, You can change the accent here. You can hear the difference there. Earlier, like I mentioned, you can do uh, tighten or broaden the sound here. This obviously makes it a bit looser. The notes are a bit longer, a bit more slurred together or blurred. Uh, it's also velocity sensitive, so if I press the keys harder, it will have a more uh, loud velocity, a more accented and dramatic performance. Here's this keys very loud. And very soft. You can change the speed over here. So there are, now I'm on whole notes and we listen to the pattern. Half notes. If you click here, you'll get a quick list of popular notation rhythms here, as you can see. You can transpose the whole thing by clicking this. Go to the mixer settings over here, where you can adjust EQ mic positions, the mix of each section here, and then the reverb. You can copy and paste the different patterns here. So let's say I want this, just kind of do that there, copy that, and then paste to any of them. It's really, really simple. And the sound is really nice, um, as you can tell. <laughs> You can click that and kind of play with any of the, kind of preview the different uh, patterns. So one of the really cool things is the MIDI drag and drop, which allows you to record some patterns playing on your MIDI controller and then drag it to a different instrument and it will map out all of the individual notes and the repetitions. I'll show you real quick. I'm just gonna hit this and then play something on my keyboard.
There's a bit of lag because I'm using voice meter here instead of my audio interface. So I've got to do that when I record my screen. But as you can see, it's done all of those repetitions, every single short note, it has mapped to the MIDI, which is really cool. So it takes that one pattern where I would be essentially holding down the note the entire time and it maps them all into individual notes. And you can see I've had to nudge this just a bit, but it is really cool to get all those notes there ready to go. Just have to nudge them a bit because I'm using voice meter and it's a little bit of an input lag, but it works really well and it's really cool. So again, let's just listen to that final track um, with just the strings.